Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. A few videos ago, um, I got a comment suggesting that I add Not Futa to Blightgate. If you don't know, Not Futa is an NPC from Strange Town who is actually deceased, I believe. Um, he's a delivery man. He's very corrupt, and basically he acts quite strangely. He acts like a baby, even though he looks like an adult, and he's just a very corrupt sim. But there's actually a lot of corrupt um, sims that, especially in Strange Town, there are like a bunch of them, in, especially in Olive Spectre's garden. So what I thought I'd do is I would add a bunch to a house, um, because I thought that would be interesting to just like throw them in here. Um, but before I do that, uh, there's actually a sim I want to try and add. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, because I was looking on the Sims wiki, and there are basically, in every neighbourhood, they should already be in Blightgate. Um, they're, they're called Neutral Witches, and their body is kind of messed up, so I thought they'd be interesting to add to the house as well. But they're supposed to be, I think, in the secret sub-neighbourhood that's associated with the apartment life expansion. They're in the magic sub-neighbourhood. This actually led me to reading about sub-neighbourhoods, so to get there we're gonna go... We're gonna play the Sylvan household, because this is actually a family of witches. There's like, um, there's like a, an elderly woman and then her adult daughters. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go into their bio too much in this playthrough. I'm, I'm not sure because like, oh, there's a lot of things I want to cover in this video, so it might take too long. Probably should have just read their biography actually. They're basically linked back to the witch that um, the town is kind of, I think, named after. Um, I've forgotten the biography of this town now. There's a witch that was like burn, and um, supposedly she left a kind of curse on the town and this family is supposed to be related to her. I didn't actually create like a massive family tree for them or anything. That would have been probably interesting, but I decided not to do that because it would like take too long. Um, I'm actually wondering if this is frozen now. Oh god, it's crashed. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, so the game crashed. I'm hoping this is a one-off and this house isn't, like, broken now. Um, it used to work okay. So, yeah, um, the secret sub-neighbourhoods or stealth neighbourhoods, they were introduced starting with the Pets expansion pack, and the wiki description of these neighbourhoods actually interested me. There's, like, a bunch of them. There was one in Seasons. There, there are exotic destinations in Bon Voyage that were added. Um, Supposedly, they're a special type of sub-neighbourhood, first introduced in The Sims 2 Pets, and the secret sub-neighbourhoods primarily add families in the family bin, new NPCs, townies, and secret lots. Some secret neighbourhoods can be visited, though the lots are not editable, and none of them can be lived in. Secret sub-neighbourhoods do not appear in the subhood selection at the top of the screen, and are only referenced in the loading screen when playing a neighbourhood that does not have all of the secret hoods attached, so I thought it was interesting that the sub-neighbourhoods had new families. I don't know, yeah, like, I don't know how they tie into adding new families in the family bin, but now I'm wondering if, like, something wrong went wrong with the pet sub, secret sub-neighbourhood. Um, because it says here, in The Sims 2 Pets, the secret sub-neighbourhood is called Pets. It adds new pet townies that are available to go into the main neighbourhood and any other non-college sub-neighbourhoods. It also adds the Rose and the new Critter family, both of which can be placed in the main main neighbourhood or non-college sub-neighbourhoods. Um, yeah, so... I don't know how this ties in, because I think like there's, there's a problem with the university subhoods too that went wrong and that um, apparently this- wow, this lot is laggy. <laughs> what the heck? Um, apparently something went wrong with the uni neighbourhoods too, I think, because they have- a lot of the sims there are corrupted and messed up. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if maybe this ties into whatever happened. But yeah, so I've got this family, um, there's two generations, I feel like she should have probably been their grandma, but I didn't make it that way, so uh, you've got Serafina, and she's like a romance sim. Um, you've got Hazel, and she actually works in the paranormal career track. She wants like her daughter to like take after her, but Serafina has got like a job 
in the same career track but she's not really interested in it and she's like so her work performance is like really low um she's like if you read her bio i think it's basically like yeah she she basically has very little interest in the paranormal supernatural um besides her mother's um love potion because her mom can like has quite high magic skill and there's like a in the attic there's like a secret magic area and she's like heard about her mom her mom's like infamous love potion and so she's kind of interested in that and kind of wants it because you know she's a romance sim and she wants to like use it on a it actually says there's no actions available on that. <laughs> I don't know I don't know why maybe you have to move it into their inventory um so yeah, and then you've got Celeste, that's Serafina's sister. She's a family sim. I think I meant to make her a knowledge sim as a secondary aspiration. Yeah, I did. Um, she's kind of bookish. She's in a book club with her best friend, Evelyn, and also the neighbour, Maori Shelley. Maori Shelley is actually a horror fiction writer, basically, as a hobby. Um, I think he's trying to make it his career. It's not really viable in The Sims 2 because they really don't earn enough money from like the novels they publish. But yeah, his name's a play on Mary Shelley, because, you know, who wrote Frankenstein. So since these sims are witches, I think they should be able to visit the secret magic sub-neighbourhood, and then hopefully we can add the neutral witch to this household. Um, this isn't the household I actually wanted to play and add all the corrupt sims to, but we do need witches to go to this particular lot. So what I might do is move her in with these guys first, and then try and move her in with the other family later, and then add all the corrupt sims. But, um, yeah, we'll see how this goes first. Yeah, this is one of my favourite houses that I modified. I kind of actually want their living room. Um, it's got, like, I really like these banners as well. I don't know where they're pla- where, where can they go? Oh, Magical World, okay. So there's two of them. I don't know if the neutral witch is in all of them, or if she's even here at all. Like, I couldn't find her file in Simpie, so we'll just go to the Palace of Neverending Light first, I guess. Um, I'm hoping that I can add the neutral witch from here. The thing is, she, uh, a lot of the Sims haven't actually randomly generated their own names, they have the in-game file names. And there's three different neutral witches that can generate, but they usually generate their own names. I don't know whether they'd end up having the game file names, or whether they'll have, like, unique names, because it might be easier to find them. I haven't actually tried looking through the basic, like, list of townies and NPCs yet. I just figured, figured since they're somehow connected here, maybe you can add them here. Maybe it'll be easier to find them through, um... I won't be able to use the buy mode functions here though, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know if this is how. I really want to add the neutral witch because I feel like it will be... She's like an interesting um, sim to add I think and she her like visual appearance is messed up in ways that you'll see if I manage to add her and also she corrupts the neighbourhood apparently so like, she's not really supposed to be moved in. I feel like the neutral magic... The neutral witches were, like, kind of an afterthought. You also have, like... Yeah, so there's no buy mode here. And it's, like, permanently springtime. So, yeah, you've got, like, the, the good and the evil witch here, but... I don't know. So, I'm looking through the family, like, list here, and there's so many. It's just... It's gonna take... <laughs> I just clicked off and so I kind of lost and didn't get all the way to the end but there are so many townies and at one point there was just like a ton of Chris's and Claire's and also the problem with the tombstone of L&D is um, you don't see any of their surnames you also don't see titles like I can't tell which ones are supposed to be witches and I don't know if these are generated with the names that are in the um, game files or not so I'm not seeing any of the names, but they could be called essentially anything. Like, they could be a lot of these people. I mean, these seem to be all of the sims I actually made in the neighbourhood predominantly, and some townies I generated from them. 
and then okay we're back to the chris and claire's now that's where i got to before <laughs> all the that that sim's dead as well a lot of these sims are dead all right so i don't think i don't know who the neutral witch is and i'm thinking maybe she might not have even generated or none of them like well you can only have one i think it's it's one of three sims i think that generates yeah I might have to add the neutral witch from another neighborhood as well because I just don't know if this one even generated. I think I'm gonna like send them home and just have like a more thorough look through Simpy at some of my neighborhoods to see if I can find a neutral witch in any of them. Um, they are supposed to generate but you know this neighborhood's completely broken so who knows. I don't think I've ever used that light before and I don't even really recognize it. Oh okay. <laughs> We're leaving now. Um, yeah. Okay, so I had looked through Simpy, and I don't know if I wasn't looking thoroughly enough, but I just couldn't find one anywhere in Blightgate. But I could find a neutral witch that immediately popped out of me, popped out to me in um, Strange Town. So I guess I'll try just adding the uh, neutral witch to the Spectre household, and then like resurrect the other Sims. Um, I don't know if removing them from like the neighborhood causes additional problems. Um, adding to them, adding them to a household supposedly causes corruption in the neighborhood, but I don't know if like moving them around, I don't know what that's gonna do. Um, I'm actually wondering if like the lot merely being in the lot bin full of corrupted sims is a bad thing in itself as well. I'm not really sure. I may have to delete it later. Um, I don't know if it's just when you place the lot that's the problem or not. So I'm just gonna try like resurrecting some of the sims. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Melissa Sims because like she's pretty messed up. I read that she's like she's a teen girl but like her appearance is pretty messed up and the game thinks that she's an adult male but very close to becoming an elder. So we're gonna be adding Melissa Sims, uh, Creon and Willow Nygmos who are like Ophelia's parents. Their, their appearance is like really glitchy I've heard. So, I'm not sure why you're calling me since you don't know any sims that have died. Oh, okay, alright. I think we have to use like a tombstone of LD to get them back, maybe. I have not actually. I, I think I've tried doing this before, but I don't really remember. Oh, and I haven't turned free will off. <laughs> <laughs> like how she automatically wants to go over to the chair. So I'm gonna add them using this and we'll see if that works. I don't know that it will. I think probably then I might need to use Simpy to bring these guys back, possibly. Because they don't seem to have... Oh. That is not what he normally looks like, right? I think he's gonna disappear now. Yeah. So what I need to do, I guess... I don't know. Oh god. I'm like, I'm so, like, oblivious. I just noticed there's a resurrection button on the Inseminator tombstone. So we can presumably bring them back this way. Um... I don't think I recognise Benjamin Cho. I don't know where the delivery guy. I thought he was actually buried in Olive Spectre's garden, but maybe he's somewhere, somewhere else instead. Oh right, yes, because his grave is missing. Yeah, he's particularly messed up that one. Okay, but in the meantime, we're going to bring back um. If I can even find them, wait. We'll start with Melissa Sims because I can see her there. doesn't actually look messed up. I don't know if maybe she has to go to the mirror. I think the game recognises her as an adult male, so... It finishes. Yeah, you can uh -huh. kind of see her voice is like, male. Okay, um... That's one out of the four sims I wanted to resurrect. Okay. I'm sure he looks really different in an image I was looking at. Drake, 
He's wearing like the alien kind of outfit. It's like a space sort of. That's kind of funny. Um, so we're going to res resurrect Willow next. Um, is that Willow? They actually look very similar. I think she looks like basically the same as Ophelia. I mean, not Ophelia, Olive. She looks like really similar to her sister. Okay, I think I've managed to add the neutral witch. I also accidentally got the wrong sim. It wouldn't work using the inseminator, but it did work using the tombstone of LMD. So, I don't know where she is. She seems to be completely invisible. Um, but if you look at her thumbnail, yeah, that's kind of weird. She has like no neck or um, like upper torso, but also like no part of her sim is visible at all here. Like that's kind of weird. She's completely invisible. Yeah, so I don't think she's even moving. Don't know. Like, what if we try and send her to relax on the bed? I think it's because like an error message came up when she was like generated, so I think I'm gonna move some of these sims out. I don't know if that's gonna be possible with her though because she's really glitched. And then um, I'll find a way to add Mount Fuwa to the household in a bit. Oh. It looks like they left. They're still here, so that glitched. Are they gonna come back? They technically left, but they're all still here. Okay, so I've brought them back. Um, I pretty much couldn't save the previous lot and it just got messed up. So I think I'm gonna like leave the neutral witch out of this. I think she's supposed to have the hidden power aspiration, but you can see it doesn't actually show up at all. Let's <laughs> call it a curse lot. You know what's interesting? Because the game recognises Melissa as an adult, she doesn't actually, like, have any of the education information and presumably doesn't have to go to school. <laughs> okay, well I, I brought in Nabfusa and he's floating in the air now. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> he has, like, no age thing here at all. I don't think I've ever seen this. And, um... Everything is just missing. Toddlers can't learn badges. It's not even a toddler though. Does that happen if you select baby sims as well? Does it think they're toddlers? I'm not sure. Like normal baby sims. Right, so I think now I'll just move this lot and um, <laughs> move it to Blightgate and then I'm going to add them to like another household in Blightgate. They're basically leaving the household and uh, remove Nutfooter, so I think I actually have to like adopt him or something. Um, which is kind of messed up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably. I, I think he should be added now. Like, this is gonna be an interesting situation. So Nut is now Ophelia's adopted brother. Okay, well adopting seems to have worked, and also this is really bizarre. I don't think even the like, I don't think this even happened with like the messed up kitten baby sims from Blightgate. Okay, now we're gonna go to Blightgate, which will hopefully load without crashing, because it sometimes does. So the game did crash before, and now, okay, I thought it was going to crash again, but, so we've got this 
remove the men. There we go. So they're in Blight Gate now, and now we're gonna play the Declare family. Um, basically, this is like a really rich couple, and there's Cordelia, who's like a lawyer, and then there's her husband, um, whose name I've forgotten, but I'll find out in a minute. They moved um, after Cordelia inherited this mansion from her deceased uncle, who is not in her family tree, because for some reason it didn't occur to me to do that. So it's just like an imaginary uncle. She inherited this house, which is super laggy. What is going on? This was fine before. <laughs> I don't know. It might be these cars, but I just, yeah, I don't know. This neighborhood's starting to really get laggy. Um, anyway, so you've got Quentin Declare and he's an artist and he's been struggling with art block, but the idea is that basically, um, and you've got some pet stuff here. He, at some point, like, he's supposed to sort of discover the messed up pets in the neighbourhood and then he maybe adopts one and uses it as his, like, muse for, like, his artwork. And then you've got, um, Cordelia and she's just, like, a lawyer. I think she's, like, an entertainment attorney, right? Yeah. So yeah, they actually have, like, a lot of bedrooms in this house. There were more, but I turned some of them into other types of rooms. Um, that, like, that was a bedroom, I think, or intended to be, but, but I turned it into a study. And then there's a little, like, living area up here. So they actually have, like, a lot of guest bedrooms. So I thought, what if I move all the corrupted sims in here? So they're, like, <laughs> they're, like, visiting. Um, that's their bedroom downstairs. So yeah. God, this is so laggy. I really don't know why. It was like fine the last time I loaded this lot. So yeah, I'm gonna add all of them to here. It's not an ideal place for him to be really. I think we're gonna move some of these sims with the move objects cheat. Okay, so there's something interesting about Creon and... Oh, okay. He's just standing up now. Creon and Willow's faces um, are pretty messed up. And so what I want to do, well first I'm going to like have a look to see if this actually, if this works because I think like when you edit them in the mirror their appearance gets really glitchy or something because of their corrupted face. Um, which is really funny. Their face is corrupt. It doesn't look weird. I don't know, I might have to like look into it but I've seen photos of like their faces being really messed up, so what I want to do, and supposedly the corruption is genetic. Okay, the application crashed. Well, basically, since the game crashed, um, I think I'm just going to play on the cursed lot instead because I feel like it will probably crash less and be less buggy, hopefully. Um, the other lot, I don't know, I think it's just too big and there's too much stuff on it right now, so it's causing problems. Both of those sims have basically loaded in with some random face template, but what I want to do is try and get their corrupt appearance to show, because it looks really weird in the photos I've seen. And then I'm probably going to try and like have them have a kid, and then see if like both of their corruption together creates like some super corrupt looking kid. This lot is taking forever to load. I actually think it may have crashed. There's no way this is, this is not normal. <laughs> so this hasn't been the greatest, um, like, success so far. I don't think. You really aren't supposed to move sims from one neighbourhood to another. Okay, what is going on now? I was just about to close the game. This is so weird. Why is this happening? Like, Rod Humble's thing just popped up. So this is technically... I've never had this kind of crash before. It's still loading. It, it's, it, this loading screen is still here. But like, I'm technically on the lot because that camera thing just popped up. Okay. I can't even seem to cr like close the game now. I'm gonna have to use like control or delete. For a second I was worried that it was gonna do this with every household in the entire neighborhood, but I have managed to create like a random throwaway sim uh, called Dave Experiment, and I think it was just their 
that uh, the Strange Town sim lot that won't load no matter what. So now I'll just add them to the household and. What does their family tree look like now? I'm sure that's messed up. Oh. Yeah, you know, I bet that's some that has something to do with, like... It still shows up as their family tree, even though those sims aren't even here anymore, and, like, they're not in their relationship panels. That must be really messed up. I, I like, I definitely don't think they thought it through, like, moving sims from one neighbourhood to another. It's very buggy process. Okay. I'm gonna try and like change their appearance and see if I can get their corrupted face to show. I don't know if maybe, maybe even if it doesn't show up, the corruption will still show up in their kids, but I don't know. Okay. Well that's weird, but it's not, it's not as messed up as the corruption that I so I'm going to change her hair, I think, to something else. Like, she's listed as an adult, but all of her, like, body options are just elder style, so that's kind of weird. Okay. That's weird, because in the mirror she had, like, a different skin tone for some reason, but now it's back again. Will this do anything? Well, if I give them some glasses, I don't think that's going to work. I don't know. Yeah, it's very odd. They have, like, Ilda skin tone too, I believe. But, like, their facial structure is that of an adult. And then their animations are also probably Elder animations. No, wait, no, they're not. Well, his aren't. Yeah, that's weird. They're both recognised as adults, despite being, you know, looking like elders. Okay, for some reason clicking on the mirror got it to show up this time. So as you can see, um, yeah, her face is like really messed up. Um, basically, I think this is explained on like the Sims wiki, but I think like for a lot of these Sims, a lot of their like data is in file format supposedly that the game stopped using later so I think they're like really old in the development like histories they weren't really weren't ever meant to be resurrected so they're all really messed up so what I think I'm gonna do if I can just get both of their corruption to show up <laughs> I don't even know how this is possible like is it like, like how? <laughs> He's even more messed up. I feel like it's like maybe there were options for like types of faces before that have now been removed, like were removed later in the game. In the same way, there are a lot of hairs and other types of things that were removed later, and maybe that like it recognizes them as having those faces even though it's been removed from the game. I have to look through their files in SimP later and see if I can like sort of figure it out because wow. He's got like his face going into his lips. This is this is very bizarre. I think he's making baby noises, right? I thought I heard something a minute ago. Did Rod just disappear through that wall? Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. There's like a door at the back of the house. Why is he going out that door? Like, why don't just leave it and then I don't know whatever okay okay so I'm gonna use the tombstone of L and D and then Creon right why can they can get pregnant with themselves I guess that just clones it she might stay pregnant forever actually oh no okay will this work there's no like physical signs, but I'm hoping she can give birth without there being some massive glitch about it. I don't know if I'll be able to reaccess this lot later either. Okay. 
I wonder if the baby will come out looking messed up or if it will take a while to show. Okay, well the baby looks normal. I wonder if he can be aged up or is that gonna like, oh, what on earth is going on here? He's got like maxed out skills and then I don't even know, like the UI is just like clipping off here. And then there's some weird percentage thing, and he has two friends, but he actually doesn't have any friends, none of those relationships are up, so I'm not sure who those friends even are. I think that's just broken as well. This is like the most break broken sim I've ever seen, like, <laughs> technically, because like his entire UI is just completely broken, and it seems to think he's a toddler. Grow baby up, Lana. So, Lada's looking pretty messed up, I think, maybe, it's hard to tell, but there's a lot of weird black marks, and I think that might just be where, like, the hair is coming through, like, you can see the hair through, like, the gaps in her face, and then you've got the teeth there, that are, like, clipping through her lips. So let's, like, compare, compare Lana to, like, her parents' faces. I wonder if I never used the mirror if the if like the other template would have been what they inherited. I don't know. But um he's got like these massive bags too under this eye. I think the lip thing she inherited from Creon, right? Sort of looks like it. I don't know what does Willow have the same problem? She's like slightly different. I want to see like how like how messed up the face templates could be if you but the problem is if i get them pregnant with like other sims yeah i think it will be diluted over time so the only way would be like if i clone them then that won't introduce new genetic material though there are a few other corrupted face sims in strange town that maybe i should have moved in i'm not sure like there's one called luke's Luke something. I've forgotten his surname but his first name's Luke and he's got a messed up face too. So I could probably try that. And then I don't- I wonder if there's some way to like edit face stuff so probably not. Like what on earth is going on with this sim? That is just- that is quite the face. Okay. Um, I think she's gonna be giving birth soon so we're gonna see like more of these sims. I think she might have looked more messed up as a toddler, actually. Who do they even know? Okay. Does he know this? That, that's like one of those burglar NPC. Okay, it's just some stranger asking if they want to- <laughs> It's the burglar asking if they want to hang out downtown. Maybe it's because I clicked off them before, I don't know. I think... I can't tell, really. This one seems a little less messed up than the other sim. But you can still see very obvious signs. I think we'll grow up both of them. I want to see like how things progress. <laughs> she does not have a good relationship with her sister. Um, she seems to be looking more normal with age, to be honest, which is a little disappointing. It definitely seems to look, like, crazier at younger ages. <laughs> yeah, there are, like, massive holes in her face. I think, like, yeah, because he's got, like, a really weird-looking chin, if you look. It's, like, it's 
It's got like mountains of spiky, jagged shin going on here. So I would be curious if like any of the kids can inherit that. It might be like, it might be more, show up more on a male sim maybe. Also, what is happening to the nose? It's just like there's a weird little, everything's sort of like moved off to the side, like her nostrils are kind of like weirdly placed. I'm really hoping this one will be a boy, but I may have to move some sims out. Is this just adding to the like messed up family tree? <laughs> because they've adopted nut and now they've got like two more kids with corrupted faces. Felia's face is okay though, but now that they're resurrected, I wonder if her genetics will be corrupted too. Like, and also, are they corrupted usually? Like, maybe her genetics aren't linked to them though, because if they if they were linked, then I assume there's some chance that they could be like passed on to her kids. I could probably have saved before and then keep reloading, but on the other hand. I bet it's gonna be another girl. <laughs> I just wanna see if like there's some way that the baby can have his like weird spiky chin. Okay, well this oh, it's another girl. Does seem to take after Creole more though, so we'll see if she gets the chin. Well, there's nothing particularly messed up yet. I really do wonder how many layers of corruption you can have in their faces, to be honest. No, I think her chin is pretty normal looking. I think she'd look pretty interesting somehow if she was like uncorrupted. Like, I think. I don't know. Let's try aging up Nut Fua now. Because. I don't know if anyone's tried that before or not, but he doesn't seem to have the same options. I think maybe babies don't. On the other hand, he doesn't, he doesn't actually even have the option to do that, so I do really wonder. Okay. Um, I feel like that was different a minute ago and now some parts have disappeared. Like, wasn't there a friendship bar or something there a minute ago but it's now disappeared so his UI has actually changed from a minute ago let's see if that works I think they might need help to grow up as well I wonder if he'll stay this age forever like does he age I just randomly decided to move the school bus to see what would happen. It looks like the door still opens there. What happens if I put it in the middle of the house? What do they think that is? It's not a counter. The school bus! What is the school bus in the living room? Well, I don't know what that room is. We'll pretend it's a living room because they don't really have rooms in this house. Technically that, I think, would be the living area. Like, living dining area. And then I think there's supposed to be two bedrooms. I don't know if he's ever gonna age up. It might be that he needs to be edited in Simpy to change his age. And, um, I wonder if he actually can go to school, to be honest. Like, when he's kid age, because... Look, now his school performance is there. This is so weird. Things keep changing here constantly and like... He's not even... It's like this interface is constantly changing. It's bizarre. Like, now he's a child or, or a teen I guess because he has a school performance meter. And then a minute ago he had like a... Uh, a different meter there with the friends and the percentage thing that was broken as well. Okay, I think this might be the first time this has ever happened, but one of these sims is actually... A, I guess because he's moved in somewhere else. 
instead of freezing at the edge of the lot, he's actually just come for a visit with um, Vladimira. Because he's not stray, I guess. Because all the strays are like really even more broken. I don't think he's going to Asia, to be honest. I think all of this, I don't know what's going on here, but it seems to be. Why are the motives constantly getting so low? So now, if we go back. Yeah, see, it, it changes how her appearance again, but her face isn't really that messed up. It's just like the template that she's supposed to look like is different from the weird one that sort of auto generates into it. So I think that might be her genetic appearance. I'm not sure. Like, yeah, it's a very similar. <laughs> it's a very similar face template to Dave Experiment, actually, coincidentally. Wait, hang on. Did I miss something? He's got like a job now. I mean, he's unemployed, but he can have a job. No, it's listed there, but this is so weird. It's like the constantly changing thing. He is very broken. So I moved down the list of Sims, and now I'm gonna like try again to see if um, to see if she has a boy this time. I'm actually wondering now if Team Sun of MD always makes female babies. I don't know if it does or not. Ah, finally. Okay. Well, I actually think he looks fairly similar to his sisters, to be fair. <laughs> I feel like he has a big hole in his eye because it's showing up in the thumbnail. I think he kind of got the pointy, the pointy chin. And I also think his eyes his eyes seem more messed up to me, like, their sisters, like, they kind of look a little more normal, I think. I wonder if anyone's, like, come up with, like, a challenge, like, breed out the corruption challenge. Like, there are a bunch of those challenges, so... <laughs> that would be a new one. She seems to be the least affected by the facial corruption. the holes right it looks less obvious because her hair is white so like the gaps sort of almost look like the same color as the sclera of the eye but if you look at him like there are significant holes also kind of makes me want to change willow's hair color to have a look but you can't really because well i could get a custom hair color i guess but yeah that is that is a messed up face I think the teeth are probably separate from face. Oh. oh. Okay. I think his face, his nose looked kind of weird from the side, but I'm gonna have a look at it. Yeah, there's sort of like a pointy bit there that's a bit odd. And also, what's going on with his teeth right now? What are they, boys? Oh, well that's, he's not very nice. <laughs> She's just trying to admire you. Admire your corrupted face. <laughs> okay, um, what I think I'm gonna do is, because this video is probably already really long, and I don't know how I'm gonna edit it all down, um, I'm probably gonna stop this video now, and then maybe I'll make another one in the future where I mess around with like, trying to turn some of these sims into like human pets and then seeing like if i can get human pets with corrupted faces i don't know <laughs> that would be even weirder looking i am wondering like how intense the facial corruption can get obviously if they breed with normal sims it will kind of dilute it but yeah 
Maybe I'll add like that other strange town, sim with the corrupted face, and then try that later. There are only like a few sims with corrupted faces, like there's Lila Grunt and then there's that Luke guy whose name surname I've forgotten. So we're kind of limited unless I start like I don't know how this even happens in the first place, so I've no idea how to set that up in SimP. If you wanted to like get really intense looking messed up corrupted faces, I don't know how that would work, but yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna leave this um, video here, so thank you for watching, um, I'll see you guys in the next video.